Hello and welcome back to Bomb Tree News. My name is Andrew, and I'll be covering the news that I found interesting today. The Internet Archive continues its work of collecting everything gaming, this time with the addition of old school LCD handheld games. In an announcement on Twitter yesterday, Jason Scott shared that the Internet Archive will be emulating handheld toys and games based on the work of MAME, an arcade emulator. Currently, the handheld history collection is such gems as Coleco Miss Pac Man, Donkey Kong, and Dig Dug, as well as the games I remember playing Hook, Robocop 2, and the horrible MC Hammer game. I can't remember ever wanting to play these handheld Tiger style games again, but having the ability to do so is pretty cool. If you'd like to check out all the handheld goodness for yourself, check the link in the description below for more details. South by Southwest 2018 has come and gone and during its time held one heck of an award show. This year's big winners were Zelda Breath of the Wild, which walked away with Video Game of the Year, Excellence in Gameplay, and Excellence in Design, Nier Automata, who earned the Excellence in Technical Achievement as well as Excellence in Musical Score, and Player Unknown's Battleground, who won Training Game of the Year, Esports Game of the Year, and Excellence in Multiplayer. My favorite award, however, had to go to Resident Evil 7, who won for Best VR Game of the Year, and really, compared to a lot of the titles currently out there, feels like it was more than well deserved. Epic Games has decided to provide all of Paragon's assets for free to Unreal Engine 4 developers. After the announcement of the shuttering of their mobile project, there was uncertainty if the game would take on a new form, but in a short video released by Epic earlier today, they revealed that any developer would have access to their massive library through Unreal Engine 4. Following their previous promise to refund all players who spent money on their game, this release of assets continues their classy streak. According to Epic, these AAA assets cost about $12 million in the making, and they hope they will help some developers get what they need so they can finish their own games. Well, that's all the news I found interesting today. Feel free to share any awesome gaming news you may have missed in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time.